Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and for this Madden Tips video breakdown, I want to show you how to counter the nickel 335 odd one man blitz. And if you guys hadn't had a chance to watch the video breakdown where I show where, where I run a nickel 335 odd cover three match and I show a two man pass rush, well, this is very similar to that. To that breakdown matter of fact in the description below i'll have a link to it where you guys can actually watch that video breakdown if you haven't already however with this video breakdown i want to show you how to, to counter the nickel 335 odd one man blitz with a couple of the different defenses that some of the guys run out there and i'll show you how easy it is to go ahead and counter it so that way if you do come across it you can easily counter it and then uh, you guys can use your playbooks or whatever and make some adjustments off of it based on what you run but for the video breakdown i want to go ahead and show you and uh, at least give you some tips on how to do that. So let's go ahead and get on the uh, play call screen here first so I can go ahead and show you the uh, defense that we're going to start off with as far as uh, getting that one-man pass rush here. So we're going to go ahead and run this with the uh, nickel 335 odd. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and run the cover three match. That's the one I went ahead and showed in the breakdown. So I want to go ahead and start off with that one first. And then on the offensive side of the ball, the one that I ran uh, as far as from the play that I called was going to be this one out of the gun doubles. And then the name of the play, if I'm just going to find it here and see if I can figure out where it went, it's going to be called the curl com combo. And so that's the one I want to go ahead and use, for, at least for the breakdown here, because that's the one I used in the, uh, the video breakdown that I did for the cover three match. So there it is. You can see on your screen, that's the play that we're going to run on the offensive side of the ball. By the way, that's out of the Bills playbook. And then the Patriots defensive playbook is the one that we're using for the video breakdown here. All right, so there you go as far as what it looks like on your screen as far as the cover three match. And I want to go ahead and just show you a couple things out of this. And I, since I went ahead and did a video breakdown, I want to show you something else that I did. In the video breakdown, this is what I did in it. I went ahead and shifted the defensive line by spreading them out. And one of the things that that did was it kind of gives the look of a, possibly of a cover four shell. If you look across the screen here, you've got, you know, you got four defenders that are playing you know, coverage, deep looking coverage. So you got these four defenders. Now that's what I did in the video breakdown when I show you the guys the setup. Now I'm going to show you the other setup the guys uses as well so I can go ahead and refresh your guys' mind. But anyways, that's the one setup I showed. And then what I would do is I would go ahead and call QB contain, such as what you see on your screen. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in QB spy. And then this guy right here, which is the nose tackle, I'm going to go ahead and put him in bluff blitz. And if you remember right, he just stands there. And he really doesn't do anything. And uh, that was one of the things I want to show. Let me go back to this guy here and actually put him in a QB spy. Sorry about that. So he's in QB spy. Bluff blitz right there to the nose tackle. And then finally, as you look at it, this guy right here was the one that I went ahead and put in the uh, hard flat. So let's go ahead and put him in the hard flat. And you can see there. And what I showed him the breakdown was once he goes to the outside here, I allow him to go to the outside and then what I'll end up doing is rushing him from the outside, basically preventing the quarterback from taking off and rolling out and running in this direction. And that was the design of that. And then I would end up getting pressure off the edge from this guy right here. So let's go ahead and just run it real quick. And then we'll talk about what else you could have done. And then we'll go into actual countering. I just want to show you guys all that right there. So that was the setup right there, as you see on your screen, got the pressure from the outside. All right. Now, the other thing is I see some guys doing here, and I want to point this out to you guys. I, in the video breakdown, I mentioned that I didn't see the difference all that much. Well, there is a slight difference there. And if you look at here right now, we're in a cover three shell, it looks like. When I did the shift of the def of the defense, when I spread them out, then it ended up making it more like a cover four. Well, what the other guy, what some guys will do is they'll come out in here and then they'll go ahead and just press left to get the on the D-pad and they'll get the uh, shift to D-line and then they'll spread them out. And the main difference there is if you look at it, is this this guy right here doesn't go back. So then you don't get that cover four look, you still get the cover three look. So really it's just a cosmetic difference. It's still the same coverage that I was running. The only difference is this guy's closer to the line of scrimmage. And now you got basically eight guys closer to the line of scrimmage, which could prevent the run. Although I can t tell you right now, if we were to set this up and I'll go ahead and do that. And that was one of the counters that I showed in the video breakdown. So let me go ahead and do that real quick here. As you watch this, let's go ahead and put this guy in the uh, curl flat here. Actually, let's go over here and do this guy first. Let's go ahead and put him in bluff blitz. This guy in QB spy, and then we're going to go this guy into the hard flat. So there's a setup. 
So that's another setup you could do if you didn't want to have that guy drop back and you still want to look like a cover three, you could do that. All right, so let's go ahead and run this real quick, but I'm going to audible into a run play on the offensive side of the ball, and I want to show you that you can still run, even though they're in an eight-man front here, you can still run fairly pretty good against that. You know, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff and just make them look like they're being idiots out there and just run it right down their throat, to be honest with you, with that setup. So that's pretty easy right there as far as uh, how to counter it. That's a simple counter. If you want to run the ball, just run it up their throat because you can do that against that particular setup that I'm showing. All right, another thing you can do is let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and take control of the tied in here on the uh, offensive side of the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and take control of the tied in. And then you can motion him. Let's go ahead and motion him over to the other side here. And then what you're going to see is I'm going to go ahead and put him on block. I'm going to go ahead and block him. And I'm going to motion him to the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up the defense real quick here. So I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and just shift the, you know, spread the defensive line out like I showed in the video breakdown. Go ahead and call QB contain right there, such as you see on the screen. Going to go ahead and put this guy in QB spy, this guy in bluff. And again, this guy right here, as you look, is in hard flat. So those are the, that's the setup that I showed. And then, as you notice, the tight end obviously staying in the pass block. All right, so we've got the curl flat concept as you look at it over to the left. And even to the right, the running back's going to run that swing route. So you're still going to kind of get a curl flat to the right. I'm going to show you how easy it is to counter it. Look at the tight end. They pick it up. And you just throw it in there, and that's just the curl flat concept, which is the most one of the most basic passing concepts you'll ever find to attack cover three, um, and that's it right there. So that's how simple it is to go ahead and counter it. All you got to do is just hot route the tight end and send him in motion to the other side, hot round the pass block, and then as you look, it takes that away. All right, that's it. That's the setup, and that's a, such a simple concept right there to go ahead and beat cover three is this one right here, the curl flat concept, that you can run that and attack that. So you can see right there as you look at it on your screen, you can see clearly that that linebacker that I had blitzing right there is getting, uh, getting double teamed right there by the tight end in the left tackle. So that's how simple that is to counter that. So that's one way of countering outside of running the ball. Another way of doing it is you could all, you know, if you didn't want to do the motion, if you wanted to, then another option would be to go ahead and just flip the uh, flip the play, hot route the tight end to go ahead and pass block. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's the same idea here if you look at it. And then you're just going to go ahead and look to throw. Let's go ahead and set it up real quick here. Don't want to get too ahead of myself here, but we're going to go ahead and set it up. And there we go with that. We'll go ahead and put this guy again. We'll put him in. Uh, into um, QB spy bluff blitz right here this guy into the curl flat or hard flat I'm sorry hard flat right there so that's the setup again and then just kind of watch and see what you got out here and see if you can get that in there that time they actually got in and I tried to force that in but I think if you look to the right side you probably would have saw that that guy was a little bit more open I probably shouldn't have thrown that pass in there but the idea of that is that you know you can counter this with a curl flat concept for the most part and I'm sure there's a lot of other concepts out there yeah, see, I should have went to the right side. My bad. But, you know, you can see right here clearly that this guy over here is the guy I should have went to. But you can do that, and you can flip the play, leave the tight end in the pass block, and then you're going to get the same results here. You're going to get him being double teamed by those two guys right there. So that's kind of the same idea. We just flipped the defense. We didn't have – or flipped the offense. We didn't have to motion the tight end. And then that could lead you to go ahead and motion somebody else that you might want to do. All right, so let's go on to the next thing here as far as the next counter is – and this one, in all honesty, a lot of things I'm showing here is is stuff that was used way back when, when the nanos in the game were these. I'm talking nanos. I'm talking one second. You could literally get pressure on a quarterback back in the day, especially in the glory days, in my opinion, of Madden, where you could get super, super pressure on the quarterback within a nanosecond. You don't see that really anymore in the game so much. But back in the day. As an offensive player, we had to come up with uh, different passing blocking schemes that would allow us to go ahead and you know counter those type of uh, nanos. And so a lot of us, especially as old schoolers, we got you know accustomed to different things you could do to go ahead and you know to go ahead and counter that type of stuff. And this is another example right here what I'm about to show you. So what a lot of guys would do in the old days, and I'm sure you can still you know if you want to still do it today you can, but 
EA's gave you so many different tools now. You don't have to do crazy stuff like this. But you could send this guy in motion, and then you got the same thing. You send that uh, running back in motion, and then you could go ahead and snap it before he gets past the line of scrimmage, past the left tackle. Excuse me, before he gets past the left tackle is what I'm showing here. Before he gets past the left tackle, if you snap it, then he's going to become a pass blocker. And so that's what I want to show here. As you can see on your screen here, you can see clearly right there again that this guy is being blocked by two of these, uh, you know, two of the guys. Again, it's the uh, left tackle. In this case, this time it's going to be the receiver that I sent in motion. So this two counters I showed right off the bat, actually I've shown three counters that you can use. You can, you know, hot route the tight end, motion them over to the left, Make sure you have them blocking. Or you can go ahead and you know flip the play, then hot route the tight end to pass block. Or you can send a receiver in motion and snap it before he gets past the left tackle, and then he'll go ahead and counter it. So those are things you can do to go ahead and counter it. Now, I know you guys are thinking, some of you guys might be thinking, well, why not just use the slide protection? So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and do that. So I can go ahead and show you what's going to happen. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and slide left here. So I'm sliding left as you look. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting that up there. So I'm going to go ahead and slide left. Right there, you can see I'm sliding left. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up the defense real quick here so you guys can see this. So we'll go into this, into the same setup that I've showed. As I'm going through it here. So we're going to put him in QB spy again. This guy's in uh, bluff blitz. And then curl, and then uh, we'll put him into the... Uh, why he's not showing up when I wanted him to show up. There he goes into the hard flat. All right, so we got him into the hard flat right there, right? So there it is. There's the setup that I've been showing right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and snap the ball again. And then just watch here. I want just want you guys to watch. And that's why it doesn't work. There you slide protect, you still don't get it. And then the other option would be, obviously, and the other thing you guys are probably wondering, well, why not go max protect? So let's go max protect. So this time we've got seven blockers you can see on your screen clearly that we got the offensive line as you look at it, and then we got these two guys staying in the pass block. So now we got seven players on the offensive side of the ball in max, max protect. So let's go ahead and do that. Now keep in mind, we're not motioning the tight end or anything like that. So let's go ahead and set up the defense so you guys can see it. And again, this is just, uh, you know, it's just what I was showing earlier. It's You can't counter that with this type of stuff that I'm showing. The, the, the stuff that was added to the game and not using some of the old school techniques that I'm showing right now. So let's go ahead and put him in the hard flat, and let's go ahead and run it, and you're going to see the same results. He's still going to get around, all right? So the old school methods I show work. The new school stuff where they got the slide protection, they've got the max protect, none of that stuff seems to work for, against this as far as protecting it. So I want to point that out to you guys when you guys are uh, seeing this online or you're seeing in, in a... I can't imagine in a connected franchise, it depends on the rules, I would imagine they might end up banning this because they'll say it's cheese. So... Anyway, there's a lot of ways to counter this, and like I said, the most simple and most effective way, if you're going to run the ball, I mean, if you're going to run this and you see it, just run the ball against it. You can literally pick up seven, eight, nine yards and smash mile from the death. Um, the other option would be just to flip the uh, flip the play, leave the tight end to pass block, hot route the tight end to pass block, send him in motion, or take control of the receiver and send him in motion and snap it before you get to the left tackle. You're all those things are going to build a counter, and again, those are all old school type of things the last thing i want to show before i get out of here for this video breakdown again i know this is a long one but guys but uh i'm just trying to cover everything that i can think of that i was thinking about when i was doing the initial video and i watched that video that i did i went and replayed it and i thought you know what i need to show the counter and i want to show them some things they can do so let's do this one let's do the y cross play out of the gun double so we're going to run that the y cross which is out of the same formation and then what we're going to do is we're going to run this against a man defense. Now, a man defense could be a little different. Let's go back in here. And the defense that a lot of guys run with this whenever they run it is the Sam Mike 1. So let's go ahead and just set this up real quick so I can show you guys the setup. So a, guy, a lot of guys might do something like this with this one. They're going to go uh, curl flat there. Might go QB spy here. And maybe something like that where they got two curl flat defenders. And then this guy right here, they might just use or him. But I'm going to go ahead and put him in the thirds for now. So they might just use or control him if they wanted to. So there's the setup right there. I'm going to go ahead and run the play. I'm going to go ahead and stick the sack. And that one, actually, the uh, 
the running back actually picked it up, but don't count on that very often for that to happen there, guys, okay? A lot of times that guy's still going to get in. But the simple counter to that, let's go ahead and set it up one more time real quick here. We'll go ahead and put him in the third seam into the seam QB spy. So there it is right there. Let's go ahead and go with this. And then we got the uh, the halfback was able to pick that up. Let's send the halfback out this time, though. So there it is right there. We'll send the halfback out on a swing route. If you wanted to counter this and make sure nothing happened to you, you can, and you could send this guy in motion and snap it. Now, this is against – I didn't get it off fast enough there, but you could do that, and then uh, you could still have plenty of time where that guy will pick that up. Let's do it one more time here. Sometimes I feel like I'm just getting a little bit older on the controller and I'm not quite as fast as I once was when I did this type of stuff, but I can still, you know, I can still show you guys the setups and stuff. And there that goes right there. And then we're going to go this guy and we're going to go ahead and put him in the thirds. And I'm going to go ahead again. I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, half back out to go ahead and send him in a curl flat. And I'm going to send this guy in motion. I just want to show you that you could still hit the tight end on that crossing route. That's what I want to show here. If you wanted to, if he comes across, you could throw that and run that and complete it for a nice gain. So even against the man defense that they set up, you could run that and use the motion and then go ahead and counter the blitz so the blitz wouldn't work as far as with that, um, against that particular coverage and defense, at least out of the 335 odd, if you were to see that. So guys, that's it for the video breakdown. I know it's a long one, but again, I it's something I'm trying to do and trying to make sure you guys see the counters. If I'm going to show something I feel like it's a little definitely a little shady, I'm definitely going to show the counter to it. That's how I've always done it when I worked with uh, VG Sports or even when I worked on the Prima Guides or when I've done stuff with EA Sports. Um, one of my big things has always been to show counters to a lot of the stuff that we, we used to show that was certainly a little on the shadier side of uh, Madden football. But anyway, guys, that's it. So Madden tips right there, how to counter the nickel 335 odd one-man blitz. Hey Madden Gamers, if you enjoy this Madden video or any other video, please subscribe to the Madden Guides YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching and for your support.